In today's episode of The Story of Animals, we take to the skies, gliding just above the shimmering surface of ponds, lakes, and rivers. Our mission? To uncover the delicate rivalry between two of nature's most elegant aerial acrobats, the dragonfly and the damselfly. They may look alike at first glance, but trust me, these winged wonders couldn't be more different once you pay closer attention. So let's begin. Dragonfly versus Damselfly. Dragonflies and damselflies belong to the same order of insects, known as odonata. That name translates to toothed one, a nod to their serrated jaws. Already you know these creatures aren't just about beauty, they're also fierce predators. Yet within the same family tree, dragonflies and damselflies have branched out into distinct lifestyles and appearances. Think of them as cousins at a family reunion, similar enough to confuse an outsider, but instantly distinguishable to those in the know. Let's start with their eyes, because in the insect world, vision is power. Dragonflies boast enormous wraparound eyes that cover most of their head, giving them nearly 360 degrees of vision. It's like wearing the world's most advanced VR headset permanently. Damselflies, however, keep their eyes apart, perched on either side of their head, more like a pair of elegant opera glasses. Both still see far better than we do, but when it comes to spotting prey and dodging predators, dragonflies hold the visual edge. Next up, wings. Both insects have two pairs of wings, but they use them differently. Dragonflies hold their wings open horizontally, even when they're resting, like little helicopters parked on the grass. Damselflies, in contrast, fold their wings neatly along their slender bodies when they land, as if they're tucking themselves into bed. It's one of the easiest ways to tell them apart at a glance. And their flight? Dragonflies are the daredevils of the sky, fast, powerful, and capable of hovering, flying backward and even upside down. They can reach speeds of up to 30 kilometers per hour, making them some of the fastest insects alive. Damselflies, while agile and graceful, are not quite as speedy or acrobatic. If dragonflies are the fighter jets of the insect world, damselflies are the ballet dancers, light, poised, and elegant. The dragonfly's body is stocky and robust, like an armored vehicle designed for speed and power. Damselflies, however, are long and delicate, with slender abdomens that resemble shimmering needles gliding through the air. Their refined form makes them look fragile, but don't be fooled. Both insects are ruthless hunters. Now here's where things get truly impressive. Dragonflies are aerial assassins. Studies show that they successfully capture up to 95% of the prey they pursue, a hunting record that would put any big cat to shame. Their secret? Precision flight control and lightning-fast reflexes. Damselflies may not hit such high success rates, but they're still formidable. Hovering over water or perched gracefully on reeds, they launch surprise attacks on unsuspecting gnats, mosquitoes, and flies, both dragonflies and damselflies play a crucial ecological role as natural pest controllers. Without them, we'd be knee-deep in biting insects every summer. Of course, before they become masters of the sky, both dragonflies and damselflies spend much of their lives underwater as nymphs. Here's where the drama intensifies. Dragonfly nymphs are chunky and armed with extendable jaws that shoot out like something from a sci-fi film to grab prey. Damselfly nymphs, slimmer and more graceful, sport three feathery gills at the end of their abdomen, which they also use for propulsion. Both nymphs are formidable aquatic hunters, feeding on mosquito larvae, tadpoles, and even small fish. 
This underwater phase can last for months, or in some species, several years, before they finally emerge, shed their skins, and take to the skies in their dazzling adult form. It's impossible not to mention their colors. Dragonflies shimmer in metallic greens, blues, and reds, catching the sunlight like stained glass. Damselflies, no less beautiful, often glow with iridescent blues and vibrant greens. On a summer afternoon, watching these creatures dance over a pond is like witnessing nature's own air show. So, who wins? In the end, it's not about declaring one insect better than the other. Dragonflies may win in speed, power, and vision, while damselflies take the crown for elegance, delicacy, and grace. Both bring balance to ecosystems, both dazzle us with beauty, and both remind us of the incredible diversity hidden in the insect world. And so, the next time you see a flash of color darting over a pond, take a closer look. You might just spot whether it's a mighty dragonfly or a delicate damselfly. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question one. What is the easiest way to distinguish a damselfly from a dragonfly when they're at rest? The correct answer is B. Wing position. Dragonflies rest with wings spread out, while damselflies fold theirs neatly along the body, a quick and simple way to tell them apart. Let's try another question. Question 2. How successful are dragonflies when hunting their prey? The correct answer is C. 95% success rate. Dragonflies are among the most efficient predators in the animal kingdom, capturing nearly all of the prey they pursue. Let's move on to the last question for this episode. Question 3. What feature do damselfly nymphs use for both breathing and swimming? The correct answer is B. Feathery gills. Damselfly nymphs have three external gills at the end of their abdomen, doubling as both lungs and propellers underwater. Great job if you got all three questions correct. If you missed any, don't worry. You've just learned some fascinating facts about these sky dancers of the insect world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.